So we know that a subdivision surface modifier can give us a very smooth surface, which otherwise may be just flat. Now if I ask you whether we can animate these subdivision levels, you may be tempted to say yes, because we know that we can keyframe these fields. We have done exactly that for this first monkey, and the results are not very encouraging, we can see that it changes very abruptly. That is because these fields cannot accept fractional values, so it changes integer by integer, and the output is not very helpful. That means, we cannot animate these subdivision levels smoothly. But we will discuss another method where we can animate these levels very smoothly, without using this modifier at all. So here is our monkey object, without subdivisions. For a smooth surface, we need to add some subdivisions to this monkey. Whenever we have a difficult task in hand, geometry nodes are always very helpful. So let us open geometry node editor here. Then create a new node tree with these default input output nodes. Now from the add menu, under mesh, we need to pick up a subdivision surface node and place it in between these two. Let us change this level to say 3. The monkey will turn smooth. Now if we change this edge crease to 1, the subdivision effect will disappear completely. So we have to simply animate this field in order to get a smooth transition. For frame number 1, we will insert a keyframe for this value. Then let us go to frame 60. We have to change this value to 0 and insert a keyframe. And for the reverse animation, let us go to say frame number 75. We will keyframe the same value. Then maybe for 60 frames down the line, we will again change it back to 1, and we need to insert a keyframe as usual. Please remember that the actual geometry does not animate here, we are only animating the surface smoothness through subdivisions, which is all that we need. Now open the graph editor, and while all our keyframes are selected here, we have to go to the key menu. Then under interpolation mode, select linear. This is important because the default behavior is Bezier. Let us now run this from the beginning. We will get a smooth transition of the subdivision surface, so we can practically animate the subdivision levels for any object, which is not possible with the subdivision surface modifier. And the best thing about this is, since we are using geometry nodes, we can apply it selectively for a specific part. If you want to know how to apply a geo node for a selected part of an object, you can check our foundation tutorial on geometry nodes, the link is given below. So I hope you like this trick we discussed today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.